hey guys welcome back to a new video and in today's video we'll be looking into the bacteriophage structure bacteriophage is a kind of virus like we've got bacteria means bacteria bacteria and the phage means eater eater bacteria eater uh, virus structure like they have got uh, viruses that eat bacteria or uh, you know just hijack bacteria and we will be looking into the structure of them and that is a quite of simple thing uh, we will be discussing about like the example of a bacteriophage is uh, you know the one which affects the E. coli uh, that is a bacteria so these bacteriophages attacks the viruses like E. coli and uh, bacteriophage are of different types and we will be looking into the bacteriophage general structure so let me cut the video and uh, make the structure and save a bit of your time and meet you back so hey guys I'm back uh, this is kind of a funky structure that I've made uh, don't laugh at it just you need to understand uh, so first of all this is uh, the head region let me tell you guys this is the head region this is the head region head and this is the tail region okay so this is also called nucleocapsid why do we call nucleocapsid uh, the reason is quite simple like we have got nucleus in this part and the capsid both because the head is uh, has a membrane called capsid and uh, in the head the nucleus or the genetic material is present so we have got uh, this mixture a uh, part that is nucleocapsid uh, and in other words that is a head we have got tail uh, we have got the base plate and this is the base plate base plate base plate right so this is the base plate and if you talk further into it like we are here here is a capsid this part this membrane is called capsid and uh, this is made of kind of uh, you know we discussed it in the last video this is kind of made of subunits called uh, capsomers let me discuss that again this is capsomers right so these are capsomers and uh, this is the viral DNA viral genetic material right so we have got the viral genetic material here and uh, this is the capsid and this is also called the core right let me mention this slash core because this is the outer part and this is this region is also called the uh, this is called the core inner core as well so this is kind of relatable thing that this is we looking to the inner portion that is the core and this is the tail in the green part and the green part uh, the tail the tail consists of the contractile sheath and the next video looking into uh, this is kind of helpful in the lactic cycle so we will be looking into that so this is sheath 
so the okay so here for the here where we were looking into uh, the contractile sheath so this is covering the tail tube which is a hollow tube which will can you know this making this uh, this viral DNA or viral genetic material to pass into the host cell so this is contactile sheet we'll looking into is used in the lecture videos we'll be knowing it eventually but we need to look into this part the tail tube right now this tail tube okay so this is a tail tube and this is a base plate and um, these are kind of uh, spikes tail spikes tail spikes these are spikes kind of thing that uh, that help in the penetration uh, these all part having its own importance like we have got here in the yellow color we have got uh, the there are six is in number they are six in number and mostly six in number and they are called like uh, the tail fibers tail fibers and they have got their own importance like they help in attachment and we're looking into it don't get confused just look into the basic structure i do hope this cuts clear to you guys and this was a kind of simple topic and meet you guys soon in the next topic or the next video till that goodbye